That is a surprise. I wasn't expecting this. This is my dad, the hardest working man I know, and he does everything without complaining, even with his current situation of having to take care of his mom who has dementia. But I can tell this takes a toll on him. And like most of us, he likes to hop on his PC to escape the stress. But unfortunately, he's no longer able to do that. Why? Well, let's take it back to November of 2017, when my dad and I built our first PC together, his PC, with the i7 8700K and an RTX 2080. Fast forward to now in 2023, and this PC is currently on life support with a felling stick of RAM, a dying hard drive, and a CPU that some would say is old as dust. He's unable to play games without getting frustrated, and ultimately it's not helping him relax after a long day of work and worrying about his mom. So I am going to fix that for him. And by fix, I mean completely build a new one for free because that's what he deserves. He's a hardworking guy and I just wanna give him something new and something fresh. It's actually surprising this system lasts as long as it did, but instead of him just getting some new upgrades in this, I'm gonna build him a complete new one. But first we have to go to somewhere special, somewhere he's never been before. Micro Center, home of where wallets scream in pain. And since this was my dad's first time being here, my goal was to get him out without spending any extra money. Spoiler alert, that didn't happen. And it's really my fault because the first thing I did was give him a tour of the place, which is a bad idea because they have so much cool stuff. Like the biggest monitor we have ever seen. Yeah, that's huge, dude. That's almost too big though. Cool looking PCs. And oh, you can't forget the thing he loved the most, the racing sim. But all it took was for me to leave him alone for one second and he comes back with a new gaming chair. Yep, dad, welcome to the club of coming to Micro Center and leaving with stuff you had no plans on getting. But you know he had a good time when he does this. And then there's my boyfriend who acts like he's just too good for the camera. Yeah, get him the hell out of here, will you please? Throw him out! Say less. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and better. So I think we can call Micro Center a success. We got everything we needed and didn't need, but now it's time to get back on the road and head home. Building is always the most fun part to me, and that's why I'm excited to get started on this build. So with this one, we have an i7-13700K, an MSI Z790 DDR4 motherboard, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a deep cool LS720 AIO, and a RTX 2080 from his previous build. But I had to add a little flair to the build, so I got two Lee and Lee streamers for both the CPU and the GPU. And of course, we're gonna have all RGB fans. All this will be sitting beautifully in the height Y40 case, which is my favorite part of the build. I can already tell it's gonna be easy building in this case. Or so I thought. <sighs> All right, so we still got a problem here because this radiator is so thick. That's what she says. And this is as far over to the right as I can possibly make it. This fan will not securely fit with all four screws. So my options is to either take it out, no fan at all. My other option is to put it up there, but uh, we're just gonna only have two screws. I'm gonna try it this way first, see how I feel about it, and then we'll go from there. All right, I got it holding on for dear life with two screws. I think we'll be all right with this. It doesn't look bad or anything like that. It's just, you know, not ideal, but sometimes things happen. So we'll keep it going. And indeed we did keep it going because the bill went by pretty fast and now it's time for the best part. All right, it's time to see if she works. We are missing the graphics card here. It is at my dad's house. So I have to add that later, but for now, let's see if she works. If I can find the power button because I apparently cannot. There it is. There you have it. Looks good. I am quite proud of this one. And I have to say, I am pretty emotional about this because I kind of wish my dad would have been able to build this with me. He uh, unfortunately could not because he works, but on top of like I told you guys, he's taking care of his mother who has dementia. So he doesn't really have the time to really do this with me but nonetheless i knew he was here <laughs> and so i'm gonna drop this off a surprise and i think it'll be a good surprise so let's go drop it off
I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the most nerve-wracking moments of my life walking up this sidewalk because I just want my dad to be happy and to enjoy this build. And if he doesn't, I will feel like I have failed him and that's the last thing I want with everything going on with this life. So let's just hope this build brings him some joy. You looked at the camera, didn't you? Hey, what the heck? When you called me last night, I was pretty much finished on it. What do you mean finished on it? You gonna put everything in it? Oh snap! Oh snap! That looks good, dude. That looks real good. That looks nice. Dang! I did good, I did good! <laughs> Just listen to how excited he is to talk about this new PC. My fans that are lit up. I've got some strips that I got lit up that I wanted. And my RAM lights up. So these bars in here, these are the RAM. Mm -hmm. They all light up and then, oh, there's my strips. Right there, all that's gonna light up. Yeah, that is a surprise. I wasn't expecting this. Where's the button, man? Yeah? In the front and the bottom. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. That's clean though, you did good on the cable hiding. I don't see a lot of cable at all. So that's really good. And that felt great to hear because I've come a long way in the cable management game, as you can see. It's quiet. Yeah. Oh damn, even my top was light up, yeah. See, I knew the colors would make him happy. That looks good, yeah. you did a good job, girl. Well, I'm glad he's happy, but technically the build isn't done until I add in his 2080. And now that that's added, the build is completely done. And I have to say, this is definitely one of the best looking builds that I have ever done. And it looks really clean with this clean aesthetic. And of course, like I said, the lights really set it off. Also, for those that wanted a mini review of the gaming chair, he said it is beyond comfortable and he even fell asleep in it in the first night. So I guess money well spent. Like 30 minutes later, I'm like, oh crap. But all in all, I would definitely consider this a big W of a day and all the goals I had set for this build was achieved. But most importantly, my dad is happy. Matter of fact, why am I telling you guys this? I'll let the man of the hour tell you how he feels himself. I need to go feed my mom before I start playing on the computer. <laughs> 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 so I'm gonna go do that, but I'm real, real pleased with this. Really impressed, and thank you for the case, and thank you for the hard work of staying up, getting it done, surprising me. I'm a happy man. You made your daddy happy. That's what I live for, you know. <laughs> All right, uh, we gonna get her done. Peace out, people. <laughs>